until I couldn't tell anymore where my stories ended and theirs began. Her formidable mind retained information like a steel trap. She held grammar rules the way other women held grudges. Dominant languages might keep a little staying power even after their armies decline. Portuguese, for instance, has far outstayed its welcome, but they always fade from relevance eventually. Does everyone here introduce themselves with their languages? Rami asked. Of course, Vimal said. Your languages determine how interesting you are. Orientalists are fascinating. Classicists are dull. She began to burn herself again. She found release in the pain. It was comforting, familiar. It was a trade-off she was well used to. Success required sacrifice. Sacrifice meant pain. Pain meant success. So you see, translators do not so much deliver a message as the rewrite the original. And herein lies the difficulty. Rewriting is still writing, and writing always reflects the author's ideology and biases. It was a funny thing, how fear made him look so much younger, how it rounded his eyes and erased the cruel grimace of his sneer, so that he looked, just for an instant, like the boy she'd first met at Synagogue. She had not always known the shape of him. She had loved the version of him she'd constructed for herself. She had admired him. She had idolized him. She adored an idea of him, an archetype, a version of him that was invulnerable. The English language has enough military might and power behind it to credibly crowd out competitors. But then we must also remember that it was barely a century ago that Voltaire declared that French was the universal language. That was, of course, before Waterloo. But how does the existence or non-existence of the gods affect me? Why does it matter how the universe came to be? Because you're a part of it. Because you exist. And unless you want to only ever be a tiny modicum of existence that doesn't understand its relation to the grander web of things, you will explore. This was only grotesque if she saw her opponents as humans. But she didn't see humans, because Synagard and Alton had taught her to compartmentalize and detach. Learn to look and see, not a man but a body. The soul is not there. The body is simply a composite of different targets, and all of them burn so bright. Meditation felt like a massive waste of time to Rin, who was used to years of stress and constant studying. It felt wrong to be sitting so still, to have nothing occupying her mind. She could barely stand three minutes of this torture, let alone 60. She was so terrified of the thought of not thinking that she wasn't able to accomplish it because she kept thinking about not thinking. 